does it prevent you from naming your pods the same as the system pods? Um, I think so. In theory, um, the way it should be done, like I call mine Aero, but that's a really bad example. It should be called, you know, like uh, yeah, um, com dot am doc. Oh, there's no dot, but com am doc. Uh, whatever project, you know. So uh, you should keep the name unique. If you if you were trying to put two with the same name, um, I s I believe when you compile it, it, it gives you a warning, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I tried that. But um, the name uh, uh, should be unique. Um, you have a question? Um, so what's what's the output of <coughs> creating this pod? I mean, you end up with a dot it's, pod. It, yeah, it's basically it's just a zip file, just like a jar file. So you can actually look into it. Um, I can probably open. And one. how do you install it? You know, how do you put it in your runtime? Or so it, with Phantom, uh, it has a Phantom uh, environment. So uh, when you compile it, uh, it, it puts it in there. So uh, then. Um, it can you can find it by name, so if it was Corello, then you can run it using that name. Um, that's the basic thing, and it's possible that if you have a bigger project, more complex, you can actually set up your own um, Phantom environment for your project. So, um, like the test framework does that, so that you know you have no chance of if you don't want to have any chance of conflicting with the runtime itself. So um, when yeah when you uh, if I build the pod 